That begins the Dim Report here. Two guys named Chris Show. Oh, some life and death battles here in this uh, Dim Report. It was like a scene out of a movie. A race against time to save a man's life in Virginia last week. He was in my hometown, Richmond, Virginia. The man was bitten by his pet. Not a dog, not a cat, not a lizard, a snake, mm -hmm. and a deadly one. It's oh. the African Pit Viper. I'm you didn't tell me that he's been bitten by an African pit viper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't say African pit viper, did you? <laughs> yes. Ah! Yeah. Oh, God. Well, uh, man. <laughs> hey, that's poison, isn't it? That's it is poison, Dave. As you may know, it is one of the ten deadliest snakes in the whole world. He has it as a pet. Correct. And it got out of its cage or whatever and bit it. I don't know if it got out of the cage. He might have been feeding, feeding it, playing it with it. Who knows? Oh, you can't play with an African pit viper. I'd go as far as to say you can't have one. Well, I agree. <laughs> not even play with. Surely you're not allowed to have one. But were they able to save this Well, hospital question. official, they took him to the hospital at VCU. Side note, that's where, I'm at, where my mother was born. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. There's going to be a lot of surprises in here. Wow. <laughs> Start to continue. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. What do you know? So the hospital officials at VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University, were able to use some anti-venom treatment they'd gotten from some th the Smithsonian mm -hmm. in D.C. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are they doing with it? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but the Smithsonian did not have enough to save the man's oh, life. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. So VCU called the state police and said, we need anti-venom. They said, where is it? They said, it's in Virginia Beach. Okay. How far is Virginia Beach from VCU? Two-hour drive. Okay. So uh, there and back. There and back. It's a two hour. Two hours there. Mm -hmm. Two hours back. It's 107 miles. That's. Uh, it was always a two-hour trip when we took it mm -hmm. from Richmond to the beach. And I imagine this gentleman that's been bitten by the pit viper has limited time. <laughs> <laughs> you could say time is running out. Clock's ticking. Uh, you could indeed. Now, there's a story. <laughs> Speaking of my mother, yeah. when she was a young single woman, mm -hmm. um, she said that she once told us that she made the trip, and she swore this is true. Now, my, yeah. my brothers and I, my mm -hmm. wife and I, all kind of, mm -hmm. we love the story, but yeah. we believe she's fudging the truth. Again, yeah. from Richmond to Virginia Beach, it's 107 miles. Yeah. That's not, that doesn't change. Right. She swore that she dated this boy who drove an MG. Mm -hmm. I said, this may have been in the... The 50s. I don't yes. know when it was. Yeah. But she swore that she made the trip from Richmond to Virginia Beach in 45 minutes. I don't, I don't, know, I don't even know how the sure physics of that. that would yeah. Work. No. 45 minutes? It's <laughs> impossible. 107 miles? That's going to be at least an hour 45. I mean, even here. Right? Come on. Oh, yeah. 45 minutes. <laughs> No. They just built the interstates and they weren't no. open yet. No. And they just got on a just they just opened the doors. <laughs> they opened no. the doors. <laughs> they didn't even know the speed limits. Yeah, there was none. Yeah, they didn't have time to put the signs up. I bet Snake Guy'd like to have that boy right now. <laughs> 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 that boy could have saved his life. Go get him. <laughs> Do you know anybody has an MG? <laughs> if he had if he had heard this honey much story, he'd have been like, Find that man. Find that man. There's only one man who can save him. <laughs> <laughs> the MG is in the shop. The MG, oh, no. Don't they have helicopters in Virginia? Can't you do well, one of those things? They do have helicopters, right. but a state police sergeant made the trip in his cruiser mm -hmm. in time and got the life-saving medication to VCU in Ooh. time. He's saved. Saved. But for how long? Oh, uh, yeah. And to Dave's point, it may be illegal to own an African pit viper You'd in Virginia. Think, you would think so, uh, wouldn't you? People get... You know, they, they get, get licenses all the time. to do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And what if it, that snake somehow got freed? That'd be bad news, oh, Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. well, that cobra was out in Raleigh, North Carolina, a year and a half ago. The cobra there? Didn't it spend the winter out? It did. And the guy like thought it was dead. Curled up under a house yeah. or something? Well, he assumed it was dead. It left. And, and then uh, he heard the screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That might be... Uh, Tell yeah. me that's not what I think it is. Yeah, when it got a little warmer, around yeah. May or so. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Snakes. I'm awake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Because I watch, I, I always pictured him like peeking out his window as everything was unfolding, and finally he sees some old woman like pointing towards his house, and he's like, "Oh, they know." The snake man, the snakes. 
That's right. They got him. Yeah. That was illegal for him to have that cobra. Yeah. That, wasn't that the same was the snake other. where the television reporter and uh, yes. yeah, she was her the camera uh, mm. operator were on the porch? Yeah. And there it was. And the snake was under her feet? She didn't like even realize a it. A foot away from her? Yeah. And she finally looked down and scurried <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, there's a snake under your feet. Is that the one? What, next to the cobra? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they went to the guy and said, didn't you own a cobra? No, I don't. I, don't. <laughs> no. I did. Is this it? <laughs> Cobra. cobra. Do you think this is the one that might be the okay, cobra? You can't prove that's my Should cobra. Should we get this one? That's Should we go ahead and get it? Cobra. <laughs> can you describe it? <laughs> yeah, it's cobra. Well, it can stand up four feet on yeah, its yeah. flares its neck out. It's got a hood. That's rough. Chris Dam says it's the coolest snake on the planet. He loves it. He loves it. <laughs> I don't know that gaboon viper that was down in Charleston that one time. That was, big, that was pretty cool stay, too. It, it was stay pretty live cool, for a while it, too. It, 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 everybody else was playing for second place. I don't know that gaboon that has a head that looks like a rock when it's sitting. Still, mm. it's a, it's a, it's that's cool. cool. Yeah. That's cool. You know, you know, I like Black Mamba. It's, it's got yeah. the great name. It's incredibly it's great fast. Name. Great name. It stands up seven feet tall. Yeah. Seven feet tall. Incredible. This thing, though, they they saved the guy. Yeah, they were able to save All the right. guy. Okay. okay.